Hey everyone, my name is Ashton Gleckman with the Global Composers Network, and what I thought we'd do today is a rescore from a movie called The Gray. And this movie is all about a group of people who get stuck in the middle of the Alaskan wilderness after the plane crashes, and they're hunted down by a huge pack of very angry and hungry wolves. And uh, Lee Meeson is the main actor in the film, but the film is essentially really about survival, what humans will do in order to stay alive. And this is a very intense scene at the ending of the movie, because one of the main characters that we've been following throughout the movie that's been very split off from the rest of the group but still a prominent character is finally giving up on that survival um, that, that sense of survival and so he's he's sitting down here and the two other main characters are sort of um, they're trying to get him to keep moving on keep going and you know trying to survive but he's just sort of given up he's walked dozens of miles he's very very injured um, and he's you know he's just sort of done and so we need to write a piece of music that sort of highlights that sense of loneliness and that sense of giving up. All right, so I've put the timer on 20 and I've pulled up just a simple patch from Spitfire Chamber Evolutions. And this is just the randomized sort of subtle setting. And so let's just go ahead and begin. My first name is John. My first name is Pete. Pete. You look like a Pete. <laughs> John, not <Hardway>. way. <laughs> of course, that's your name. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you. Look. Right, now let's just go ahead and add a sort of flux houndo thing. Great, boom. Extend that. Let's go down, grab a piano. So we just have a felt piano with a little bit of black hole reverb. So let's just. Perfect. So now we're going to go into Omnisphere, and we have this sort of extension pack called Pangea, which is all about sort of icy, cold tundra sounds. Um, so let's just go in and pick something interesting. Let's see how that. That's quite good. You could tell that just by listening to it, it has some crazy EQ stuff going on there. So let's just correct that really quick. All right. So now let's just record. My first name is John. My first name is Pete. Pete. And we'll just extend that all the way to our piano line. So right there to bar 47. 
Okay, and towards the ending of it, I think we still have the sustain on, so we'll have to turn that off if we don't want it to just keep playing for eternity. <laughs> and towards the ending there, let's just go ahead and add just sort of like a fade out automation. So we'll just, oops. Boom. My first name is John. My first name is Pete. Pete. You look like a Pete. <laughs> John, hard way. <laughs> of course, that's your name. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you. Look. So now I just want to find a hit for the ending of the scene, and I want it to really be not only about the ending of the scene, but about the ending of his, you know, search for survival. And it's this very sort of, so something big and airy, and so let's just go ahead and layer that right over that last piano line. Let's make sure that we have it right on. A little bit early there. Perfect. My first name is John. So now what I thought we'd do is we just add a little bit of just sort of like a very chamber sound. So what I'm gonna do is go into Orchestral Tools, Berlin Orchestra, Inspire, and we're just going to grab the strings, first chairs, sustains, which sounds like this on its own. Turn on the Concertino filter, and then we'll head into here. We'll send it to a strings reverb. Give it a little bit more space. Perfect. And I think this will just give it a more sort of raw, detailed sound. My first name is John. No expression. <laughs> My first name is Pete. Pete. You look like a Pete. <laughs> John, hard way. <laughs> of course, that's your name. Thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you. Look. So we do right here on bar 39, we have this sort of G major first inversion chord. And you know, you might be wondering why would you put it over this scene that's all about this guy giving up on life. And the reason is because right here, starting I think on 34, yeah, he gives him this watch, which is essentially a beacon. 
Um, so it's him saying, you can survive, you can do this. And so we needed some type of musical element to represent that sense of hope. Um, so let's just go down and we'll add just a few more sort of pads just to give it a little bit more movement. Um, but so far, harmonically, it's working pretty well. And I think there was one thing that I just wanted to fix in terms of the, the first chairs. And I think there was one part where I was a little bit late. My first name is Pete. Pete. You look like a Pete. <laughs> Of course, obviously, are doing this freely, so with no click or anything. John, hard way. <laughs> All right, so we'll get something that would just sort of fill in the lower section, because right now we have, you know, the strings up here, um, and we don't really have anything down below, just sort of filling everything in. So we'll just go to. Omnisphere Pangea. Try to find something that works well for that. That's sort of cool. Let's add a little bit of that. My first name is John. My first name is Pete. Pete. You look like a Pete. <laughs> yeah, maybe only for the intro though. I'm not feeling it for the rest of the thing. And now I've taken this. My first name is John. <laughs> My first name is Pete. Pete, you look like a Pete. <laughs> John, hard way. <laughs> of course, that's your name. Thank you, John. There in bar 61, there was an issue. I think there's still somewhat of a
Uh, so it looks like there's a boom in the movie, actually. So if we put it right here. Oops. And then we go up. Move this one over a little bit. Let's see if that works better. Perfect. And then we have some sort of like Joni thing that comes in that's actually dubbed in the movie. You know, we didn't even do it with a click track, which in an actual movie environment might not be the best decision because there's always conforms and picture changes. And if you aren't doing it to a um, sort of tempo, you're going to have a much more difficult time, you know, messing around with that. And if you're recording it with a live orchestra, you'd have to figure out a way to notate it um, like that. But anyways, we just sort of did it like, you know, freely because I think it really provided itself to the emotional stability of what the character is going through. And that's just the thing. Music has this amazing ability to really dive into the character and understand the way that they are you know, feeling, you know, where they came from, where they're going, the, the pace of their breathing even, you know, that's something that visuals can't represent, that music has the availability um, to sort of represent. And just like we were talking about, because there's no stability in his, you know, um, sense of survival, we really had to represent that through a musical language. But there's just a quick 20 minute rescore from the movie The Grey. I hope that you guys enjoyed. And if you guys want to stay up to date with GCN, do definitely check out our website, globalcomposersnetwork.net. Uh, check us out on Facebook and do subscribe to our YouTube channel because there's tons of tutorials and uh, also composer interviews. We have one coming up very, very soon with Spitfire Audio's Christian Henson. So we'll be talking about all the latest releases and everything like that. So definitely check that out. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.